<clears throat> so we're out here on uh, Lake Bomazine, Rutland County. Second night of uh, bass electrofishing. We do these surveys every uh, few years on a whole host of lakes around the state to check on the bass populations. But we also shock other interesting and weird fish. Um, like I said, this is our second night, and this is the third of this species that we've got out here in Lake Bomazine so far, and by far the biggest one. This is, we're gonna measure it later, but this is about a four foot American eel. Um, this thing is thick, thicker than a baseball bat, and uh, you know, a really cool species. And what's neat and unusual about these fish is that they um, all are spawned in the Sargasso Sea in Bermuda, off the coast of Bermuda. And in the freshwater lakes in Vermont and up and down the eastern seaboard of the US and Canada, this is their nursery grounds. This is where they become adults. Um, once they've matured in our freshwater lakes, eating the, the plentiful food resources that we have in Lake Champlain and all these inland waters, they migrate back out to sea from all of these waters down the eastern seaboard all the way to the Sargasso Sea in Bermuda where they then spawn. And after they spawn, they die. When the young are hatched in the Sargasso Sea, they come back up the coast. They kind of ride the North Atlantic current as they grow and they get bigger and they get stronger, they swim inland, go up the freshwater river systems and find their way into lakes like Lake Bomazine. And most people are probably sitting there thinking, how is Lake Bomazine connected to the ocean? Well, it is. Uh, Lake Bomazine flows out uh, into the Castleton River, which goes into the Pulteney River, which goes into Lake Champlain, which goes into the St. Lawrence River, which goes into the ocean. And these eels can make it on their own all the way up mounting dams, going over land even on wet rainy nights. And then they live here five, six, seven years in sometimes more in these freshwater uh, lakes, growing and getting to the size of this giant until they're ready to head back up to sea. And I bet you this one is probably uh, a soon to be mature fish, which will probably go out to sea um, in the next year or two. So it's pretty cool the things we see when we're out here shocking.